So you guys out there, are you struggling to survive? Is normal everyday activities and things that you do, is it getting really to be a huge struggle for you to deal with? A lot of that has to do with taking place in this world and what's taking place in this country. A lot of people aren't prepared for what is taking place. A lot of people don't understand it. A lot of people choose not to believe it. There's nothing wrong. Everything's fine. But in the end, it's not. Half the problem is what is taking place with the price of everything that has gone up and what is taking place with the interest rates and also the higher food cost, costing you more for your rent. Maybe you have kids, back to school's coming. You're trying to figure out how you're going to figure that one out. You see, for some reason, in this country, us Americans, it seems like, have taken the back burner. We're no longer the number one priority of this country. We're spending more money and sending more goods that we need here to other countries so that we can turn out to look like the good guys here. Meanwhile, back at home, people are struggling to put food on the table, a roof over their head, gas in their car, and they have a job. What's wrong with this picture? We really need to sit back and really take a look at why people need to be prepping. And for all the people out there that are watching this video that have been prepping, well, your lives aren't as bad because you always have your preps to fall back on if, say, you had a bad week. Or maybe, you know, you, you got sick or something and you missed some work. You know you have food, right? Whereas in a lot of people out here, they're struggling to make ends meet just to put dinner on the table. They're trying to figure out exactly how they're going to do that. Some people are still working two jobs and they still can't afford the rent, the food, the gas in the car to go to work. A lot of people have started taking public transportation. They have sold their cars because they can no longer afford the gas on top of the insurance that has gone up. It's easier for them to take public transportation. Now, that's not for everybody because in some areas, depending on where you live, you may not have public transportation. So you have to sit back and you have to think about this, right? What can we do? Well, for number one, folks, you really need to start paying attention to exactly what our government is doing and what they're sending out of here that we could be using here right now. Why is it that we have to send oil, food, and all these other types of supplies? We're supplying Ukraine with another $400 million in aid in fighting this war. For God's sakes, how long are they going to drag this thing on? It seems like every time we turn around, Zelensky's got his hand out and he wants more. What's he doing with all this stuff? Or maybe they just don't know how to use it properly and it's going to waste. The world is teetering on the brink of destruction. Earth will still be here. Mankind? I don't know, folks. Turn on your local news and you see what's taking place in your town all over the country, the world. A lot of people have turned it off because it makes them sick to their stomach. They don't want to see it. They don't want to hear it. 
They don't want any of that. There's more shootings and robberies and people stealing things and everything else. And yes, I know the Bible predicts a lot of this. So the question stands, why are Americans struggling to survive? And the answer, in short, is because we're being sold out to other countries. We no longer make things here. We depend on everybody else for all the goods that we buy. And everybody is, you know, real big on, oh, I don't shop at Walmart. It's all Chinese made. I hate to tell you, but just about anywhere you go, it's all Chinese made. Or it came from another country. One of the two. It's very hard to find things made in America. And that's pretty sad. Considering that we've gone from an industrial revolution many, many years ago where we made everything right down to the pillowcase on your bed. Now, we don't make anything. If you go to a t-shirt shop and you buy a t-shirt, they're made somewhere else. They just print the logo on them. Perfect example. You see, folks, until we can get this under control, until we can change what is taking place in Washington, D.C., and hopefully get somebody that knows what they're talking about, is respected throughout the world, because right now we're just a pushover. We're the laughing stock of the world. Let's face it, folks. Sometimes the truth hurts. All I can tell you is your best bet with the way everything is going in this world and in this country is to do your best to get prepared. Start building your stockpile. If you got to go to the store and you're buying one, buy two. If you got an extra 20 bucks, spend it on food, groceries, supplies, whatever it is you can possibly buy that's going to help you out in a time of need, you and your family. Now I'm sure there's going to be a lot of people that probably really don't like this video. And that's probably because the truth hurts. You know, we just can't tippy-toe around every other person and every other subject and everything else. Sometimes you got to hear it and you got to hear it straight. I've said in many of my videos, I ain't going to sugarcoat anything. If that bothers people, I am sorry. But I'm not going to. Take a look around you. That's all you have to do. See what's going on in your town. Obviously, the bigger the city, the more the problems. The smaller the city, less of the problems. Just depends on where you live. But we all can be prepared. But that's up to you. Not me. I try to give you the information that you need to try to help you out. It's your job to turn around and use that information for something wisely and be prepared for you and your family. So I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. Thank you for joining me on this video. Please hit the like button, share, subscribe, and until next time, I'll catch you all on the flip side.